First is credit risk, which reflects the risk that the borrower will not repay your funding. Okay? Now, for the vast majority of banks, I would say just about every bank in the world, credit risk is their main risk exposure, without a doubt, absolutely. What is the biggest driver of your regulatory cap requirements? It is your credit risk. For some institutions, it could be well into the 90s, 90% of the driver of, risk of your capital is, is credit risk. We want to understand the risk of loss as a first cut understanding of what credit risk is. Okay, and if I'm looking at a financial statement, if I look at the balance sheet of a bank, I'm, let's say I'm an investor or a third party, I'm really concerned with um, the, how much of the lending is currently performing, a performing loan. That means a loan where the customer is paying interest on a regular basis and hasn't missed any payments, and how much of the lending is non-performing. The customer has missed three or more interest payments, and so now the loan is now non-performing. At a certain point in time, when it becomes on for more performing, the bank will write off the loan as it's expecting not to receive it ever back. But that may not be the case. It may receive some of it later. Okay? So if I'm looking at the amount of non-performing loans compared to performing loans, I'll get an idea as to how much credit risk is on the balance sheet. Okay? Now, credit risk is a difficult risk to hedge, uh, which is why you want to get it right at origination when you make the loan rather than try and fix it later on by, doing bad, by trying to fix bad lending. But when we originate loans, we want to look at those two things at the bottom there, concentration and growth into areas outside the bank's area of genuine expertise. Now, you may think that last point is um, fairly obvious, fairly self-evident. You might think, well, why would any institution do business into areas that they didn't know anything about? But trust me, um, if I'd, <laughs> not necessarily if I had a pound, but if I had a good 10 pounds for every time I had observed institutions getting into stuff they didn't really know anything about, I probably could retire earlier than I might otherwise expect to. So that is worth being aware of and repeating to oneself because banks don't always follow that principle, even though they might not admit it to themselves. 